Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this NetVip AC1200 Wi-Fi 11 AC USB adapter. It has dual band 2.4 GHz, all supports the 5 GHz, uh, 5 decibel USB 3.0 says high gain dual antennas here we have also some description i mean the 1200 come probably from 300 plus 80 767 megabits in total here some description if you like to read that i don't know if you can see that online so i thought i'm showing you everything so let's take it out of the box and see and i mean at the end i'm going to compare this with my built-in internal wi-fi antenna because i'm a little bit struggling at the moment and the reception is not really good i don't have really high reliable throughput and i thought this could be an alternate way to solve that uh, yeah there's a lot of description actually dual band wireless there's so much description about that i cannot even show you everything i don't know why we would need that i hope that actually we can just plug and play i mean plug and use and do not have to set it up with a lot of software here we get even uh, a cd-rom who has a cd-rom these days i mean i have an external cd-rom and if i don't have another opportunity i will put it into that and of course i will upload it to my dropbox and share it with you if you really liked it but a lot in a lot of cases we don't need the software actually there's just a lot of uh, not needed functions and sometimes also some kind like spam and they want to sell you other stuff and uh, they have some adware on the thing so be careful i would definitely try to work with that without the software if you need it at the end we can uh, still do that i would think i think it's not like the old days with windows 98 when you plug it in and you forgot to to install the usb driver before that you don't have any other chance to do that so with windows 10 it's not so problematic anymore so um yeah the thing itself uh, i mean you have to assemble that a little bit i mean not much of course it's just the antennas feels a little bit cheap but i don't mind if it really works at the end so that's really just that and uh, so we have the antennas ready to use no big deal so i'm plugging it in and i will do a test and let you know how it develops by the way i have found out that the instruction manual is not as big as i was fearing there are just a couple of pages in every language so i'm going to show you that i have no clue if it can focus so close but still maybe it helps i'm going it uh, to show you just really quick so if you need that maybe it can help you a little bit there are really just a couple of pages i really can't see that on my camera it is if it's focusing but i hope that it's focusing more or less of course you will have to use 1080p and put the page on pause and then you probably with, with a little bit of luck you should be able to read everything which is neat because we are already on the last page and we are coming to german already and i don't know if it says how many languages we have we have german it's probably uh can't see that is that italian probably french spanish something like that can't even see that from here okay so here we are now after i've been plugging in 
this wireless adapter here we have the result or yeah what i actually want to show you is something which maybe not everybody knows so after plugging in a new wi-fi adapter uh, how to use that actually without installing software on a windows 10 machine you can go here down on the right side and usually you have this internet settings here you just uh, left click here and then you have in a sudden two wi-fi adapters or so instead of just having one you have two so usually the old built-in will be the just wi-fi it's called wi-fi and the new one which you have been plugging in with usb that's usually wi-fi 2 and you can just connect uh, to this wi-fi uh, networks as you are used to with the exactly same password so that's without any drivers what i have been uh, yeah so let's talk about testing here what i've been doing that's the old result on speedtest.net that's the old result without doing anything i mean that's my old internal built-in wi-fi adapter and as you can see we have the results 130 megabits download 35 upload and here 24 the ping that's with the 2.4 gigahertz built-in and that's with the 5 giga uh, yeah 5 gigahertz built-in so you can see a little bit of difference the problem is actually i think because the 5g yeah has of course a little bit uh, worse reception because 2.4 gigahertz has more uh, wireless range i mean the further reach so i've been then just plugging in this uh, wi-fi adapter and been switching here to the wi-fi 2 and been connecting to the 2.4 gigahertz and this is the result and it was really bad i don't know why it was really bad you see a very high ping very slow download very minimal upload almost nothing i did same test and with the 5g that was a little bit better and i would say about on same level as with the built-in internal wi-fi so i'm going back to the internal wi-fi result so pretty similar here the new here the old here the new with the adapter so ping was a little bit higher unfortunately but upload was a little bit faster but of course there's no 100 percent guarantee that the uh, environment is still the same i mean network they have some ups and downs when you uh, do 10 measurements and then you have 10 times at different results of course but i mean i did what i yeah what i can do i cannot uh, i don't have any influence on the internet so i just did the measurements so definitely 2.4 gigahertz uh, just with the built-in windows 10 driver did a really bad job and with the uh, 5g built-in was really good i repeated the test for the 2.4 gigahertz a couple of times sometimes i had some same results sometimes it was a little bit better but no real good success so what i did then then i grabbed an old external cd rom drive attached it to my computer and i installed the driver from there even when actually the instruction says it's the instructions for i think windows 7 windows 8 something like that or definitely nothing about windows 10 but i just tried by the way here is the dropbox file i'll put down the link to the thing unfortunately it had some problems the good thing is now you have the user manual definitely here online you can go through it you don't have to try to check 
uh, what I've been recording with my camera. Unfortunately, it had an upload error on the .ds store. I don't know if this is really needed. It was something between the Mac OS and the Windows Vista version. I have no clue if how important that is for every operating system. It seems like it's no, this one is yeah failed too. Tom's.db. I have really no clue how important this is. These are two errors, and yeah, maybe it will work still. Maybe it doesn't work. I have really no clues, but I will definitely put down the link to this uh, Dropbox folder. Just let me know if you installed, uh, if it worked or not. It would be really interesting uh, when you enter when you install it you will get a new icon here that's called Realtek USB wireless adapter you can double click on that I think the only purpose of this one is yeah now it's invoking the program I don't know I thought it's just uh, putting something in this history uh, maybe first time then second time it will invoke the program so uh, yeah you have then a small program but you also find this here in the sys tray this is also the same thing which was not here before uh, you even have some configuration possibilities yeah whatsoever but the most thing is here in this program you have the general and the profile now i have access to both of the wireless adapters of my router 2.4 gigahertz 5 gigahertz what i did i was clicking on I, yeah after opening this program i just went to available networks and then i clicked on the network uh, i needed like the one here if you are not connected it will ask you for uh, i mean the first time it will ask you for the password of course next time not anymore so and here are just data statistics it's not so important i think here but the available network you can find your network double click and then access it and it will also it will change the network also here so this thing is really connected when you do a change here it will affect here when you switch the network here it will affect this here so it's really not independent it's really connected and yeah after i was connected to the new network i mean uh, yeah it's the same network of course but through the new adapter but using the real tech driver i tested it again and this is probably what you want to know if this brought some improvements and here that's the result with the 2.4 gigahertz so uh, 18 ping uh, 122 download 43 upload let's compare to the original one 18 122 43 uh, yeah you can see it's a little bit of improvement uh regarding upload and ping but a little bit down from the downloads so not much improvement but what where i was really struggling actually with the original adapter that was the 5g because that should actually be faster than definitely 120 megabits and that's the old reading and now i'm going to show you the new reading with the new adapter and with the new driver and that's the result it's no fake it's just the first test which i've been doing ping is a little bit higher but download much more about yeah 50 percent more and also upload is about 100 percent more you can see original values 120 24 now we have 179 with 43 yeah that's a huge improvement and it looks like at least if you are using the driver after installing the driver it will upgrade the network speed especially if you have been struggling with the 5g reception it can really improve your network and that's a good thing it's good to know i mean the only bad thing is yeah let's go a little bit back to the hardware the dongle yeah i'm going to the listing now 
Yeah, here we have the listing and you can see the adapter and it's pretty wide here. So if you have a couple of USB adapters on your computers like uh, side by side, then you cannot plug this in while you have uh, the other one right next to it already used. At some uh, USB hubs, it might work. I have uh, also a USB hub and I've been using it there first. Now, actually, I'm still using it there because I can't use it uh, on my laptop on the only USB uh, plug which or USB outlet which is still available because uh, on this side there's an HDMI adapter which I have to use that I can see uh, something. And so it uh, it's not possible to have this plugged in and the HDMI on the side and also if you have two USB adapters or you two USB outlets you cannot use them side by side if you have them really close um, yeah close together so that can be definitely a disadvantage with this uh, style here I don't know why they have been choosing that of course uh, the all the IT stuff, I mean, the, all the electronics has to be somewhere, but there would probably have been other choices. I think the design is not so good. If you don't, if you have enough USB outlets, no problem with that probably. But if it's a, really, a little bit tight and you don't have a, a lot of left space, so it could be a little bit of problem. Just wanted to tell you that. But uh, I mean, at the end, it's working for me. I mean, you have to make sure, of course, that you're using a 3.0 USB and not a 2.0 USB 2.0 because otherwise it will be still very slow, even with all the drivers and everything. So, yeah, I mean, did it work? Yeah, more or less, you have seen the result. Of course, you can improve the network uh yeah if you are struggling especially with 5g these days it, it it's a little bit bad when you have 5g and you still have slow con connection with something like this you can definitely improve your speed i've been proving that and so at least i can give some kind of recommendation and i will put down the link to this listing into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like and i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about the things and if you liked the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time